Hey there, in today's project we will walk through the process of how to build a washer toss game. To start off, cut the boards to size to build the frame. We'll cut four boards at 1 by 6 by 13 and a half inches and four boards at 1 by 6 by 12 inches. I'm using the miter saw, but a circular saw or hand saw would do the job as well. For today's project, we will use pocket holes to connect all the boards. If you don't have a pocket hole device, you can pre-drill and use normal screws to form the joints. You'll want to set the pocket hole device and drill bit color to 3 fourths of an inch to get the correct depth. Create two pocket holes on the ends of each of the shorter boards. Next, we'll drill pocket holes on the 12 and 13 and a half inch boards that will connect them to the plywood. To make sure that our 1 and 1 fourth inch pocket hole screws don't go all the way through the plywood, you'll need to adjust your pocket hole device to a thickness of 7 eighths of an inch and your drill bit color to 5 eighths of an inch. To assemble the frame, we'll use 1 and 1 4 inch pocket hole screws and wood glue for each connection. Use two of the screws at each corner. For the bottom of your boxes, you'll need to cut out two pieces of 12 inch by 12 inch plywood. I use my circular saw and green tape on the plywood to help guide my cuts. Run wood glue on the outside of the plywood and then position your box frame on top. Use 1 and 1 4 inch pocket hole screws to connect the frame. Fill each hole with some wood putty and then do a final sanding before you apply your stain. Next, identify the center of your box. Since the inside of our box is 12 inches by 12 inches, this can be achieved by using a carpenter square and drawing lines from each corner of the box. Now that we've identified the center of our box, we will trace an outline of both the inside and outside of our 4 inch PVC pipe. This will provide us with an outline of where to put our epoxy in a later step. After the wood putty has dried, we will prep the boxes to be stained with our orbital sander and 220 and 120 grit sandpaper. For this project, I use Minwax Hickory Gel Stain. I apply the stain with a brush and then use an old t-shirt or towel to wipe it off. To attach the PVC pipe, you will need to apply clear epoxy to the PVC outline that you created earlier. Sit the PVC pipe onto the epoxy and apply some weight. The final step for the build of the washer toss box will be to use adhesive to apply outdoor carpet. I forgot to record the process of how to cut out the outdoor carpet. The carpet will be 12 inches by 12 inches. You will identify the center of the carpet and use a PVC pipe to help you identify the size of the circle that needs to be cut out. The last step will be to pick up either two or three inch washers and spray paint them the colors of your choice. I hope that you enjoyed today's project. If you found today's video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.